It could be a done deal in just a couple of weeks. A date is set for the sale of Canton's paper mill. News 13's Rex Hodge reports on the impending deal and the steps moving forward. Canton's mayor says October 1st is down as the marker for the sale of the Pact of Evergreen plant to Spiritas Worldwide. He's cautiously optimistic about that, but says there's also some wiggle room possibly in there too. Those dates can change, but we do have that expectation that come October 1st, the owner of the site will not be Pact of Evergreen, uh, but it will be Spiritas. Sooner than expected, but Mayor Zeb Smathers says Spiritas plans to take possession of the full paper mill operation not just the mill property, the landfill, and the Lake Logan Dam. He expects Eric Spiritas, president of the Demolition and Redevelopment Company, to move in a positive direction and reflective of the local community. Not only should he listen to the community, uh, but every part of it, uh, whether it be from demolition uh, to developing the site, let's use local people. Smathers says an impending sale doesn't let Pact of Evergreen off the hook. This does not relieve Pactive of their environmental and economic responsibilities. It'll really help the community kind of rebound from those job losses. When the mill closed in June of 2023, it put nearly 1,000 out of work. Haywood County Commission Chair Kevin Ensley agrees Pactive must address environmental issues. And then the new buyer, we want to make sure that he's a partner with us and that He's selling it to industries and businesses that we want to have here. Pact of Evergreen will continue operating the wastewater treatment facility on its site into next year, but then it's up to the town. We'll pay what is fair and reasonable. Mayor Smather says a more modern sewer plant is planned in future years. Both leaders say they look forward to a change from Pact of Evergreen. I'm glad to get rid of them, you know, to be honest with you, because they, ne they need to go. I've had more positive interactions and conversations and heartfelt conversations about tough issues with Spiritas in the last six months than I have had with corporate brass from Pact of Evergreen in 41 years on this earth. While Smather says communications with Spiritas have been more streamlined than with Evergreen, he says he and the whole town will be watching that actions speak more loudly than words. Reporting from Canton, Rex Hodge, News 13.